I've got such lovely knees. The barrels of Bavaria burst upon a thirsty world. The Munich Oktoberfest that makes any other festival look pretty small beer. But you needn't go to Munich to taste a Munich brew. This is one of a chain of beer kellers that's been adding its individuality to the drinking scene in Britain. To see how well the hearty Teutonic atmosphere reflects the real thing, join us in our Super 111 as we taxi in on one of BEA's regular round-the-year flights to Munich. During the Oktoberfest, nearly a million gallons of beer will be poured into over five million visitors. The seven big local breweries have been extra busy through the past months, swelling their stocks of the special Wiesen beer, as it's called. As if we needed reminding of the lifeblood of this extraordinary festival, brewers and publicans lead the inaugural procession through the city. Lasting for 16 early autumn days, Oktoberfest is generally recognised as the greatest folk festival in the world, and I don't think anyone would suggest otherwise. Beer may be the unifying theme, but there's a kaleidoscope of fringe benefits, folksy and fairground, fiesta and food, to fascinate even a teetotaler. The Lord Mayor of Munich ceremonially taps the very first barrel. High on the big wheel above the festival grounds of the Theresian visa. This is the park named after the princess who in 1810 married the crown prince who was to become Bavaria's Ludwig I. Their wedding was celebrated by the very first Oktoberfest. Apart from literally tons of the favourite grilled steckel fish, the crowds consume 1,400,000 sausages and 300,000 chickens. But between the tapping of that very first barrel and the draining of the very last stein, the resources of those millions of holidaymakers will have been happily liquidated by nearly 4 million litres of beer. If you were one of them, you'll know how much you need a holiday to get over it. <laughs> 